So I thought I'd record a small video just to say how you can actually connect your own device to the Princess TV if you're lucky enough to have a stateroom where you can actually get your hands around the back of the TV. It's not guaranteed because some of the rooms, the TV's right up against another bulkhead. Some of it you can actually get your hand behind to get a HDMI leading. So it's, it's really potluck whether you're going to get one of those or not. As you can see from the screen that I've got already, there's quite a selection of movies. Uh, I have to back off a little bit. You can get live TV, you can get TV series. So it's got quite a lot of entertainment already built in, so you don't actually need your own device. But if you do decide to bring your own device, well, you can do so. There's no power socket near the TV. Uh, what you need is a HDMI lead, which I've already just plugged into the back of the TV. It's just a socket here on the left hand side on the LG TV. Um, it's very fiddly to put in. Um, I use a set of ice tongs. But if some people bring a, a much stiffer HDMI lead, um, it's about that far in. So you need quite long to have prompt fingers. As I say, it's fiddly. I'm using a, a Rocker Express, uh, about $30, £30 from wherever. Um, because there's no power socket near the TV, or no power socket, you can see I'm using a little power bank as well, just to power up the Roku. Uh, if I power up the Roku here, so things connected to my HDMI, You won't be able to see, but my Roku is now flashing. This is the Roku remote. You wonder how do you get from this system to the Roku system. Well, what you do is you have to back off again to, so the remote actually works. You go to my cruise, you go down to the very bottom, and there's a bridge cam option, and select the bridge cam. doesn't want to do. There we go. And there's the bridge cam so you can see it's sailing away. Underneath the middle here there's actually a button you can press. Once you press that button it comes up with a little screen on the display. There's a button to the left you press that and it comes up with this little icon here. You press that again and it comes up with live TV, HDMI, HDMI 2. If I scroll down to HDMI 2, press the button, and there you go, it just says there you go, and there you go. there's my uh, Roku. So as you can see, if you've got a TV like this one, there's plenty of room between the uh, wardrobe and the TV. You can just get your hand behind, push the HDMI lead it in, um, and then plug your HDMI lead into whatever you want to uh, work. If, however, you have a TV like our other one over here, there's very little room between the uh, wall and the television, and there's no way I've got a HDMI lead in there. So if you've got a TV like that, you're out of luck. That's not going to work. If you've got a TV like the first one near the wardrobe opposite the bed, then that would work. I plugged in a Roku device, but obviously you could plug in anything you like, such as a DVD player, or any other HDMI device. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. We do appreciate any likes, and of course, it's always free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, and we do hope to see you again soon. Bye.